Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial called how to build a social media app and in this app we're just going to build a very simple social media app and so this is the layout of it this is going to just be our posts from our different friends here on our home page and then here when we switch over to the search page we'll be able to just search users so you could add them as a friend and over here you'll just be able to post and update status and then your friends will be able to see it and then we have our simple login and our sign up pages and, and in this app we're going to be using Firebase as our backend and so we're just going to get started on the UI first so first I'm going to get out of this project and just create a new Xcode project and we'll call it call that one social so I'm just going to call this one social app alright like this and create. Alright, and we're going to be using storyboard in this. So I'm going to go to my storyboard file first. And so let's get started on the home page. So for the home page, we just have, we're going to delete this and go back and drag a tab bar controller onto our page. So we have our tab bar. And so we're going to start on the home page first. Okay, so first we're going to change this icon right here. So you can press your item one. And I'm just going to, I use this flat icons right here. This is where I get all of my images. But I already have them downloaded. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go and I'm just going to drag this home onto here. And then make sure to select copy items if needed and then press finish and then here where it says title we're going to change the title to home we're going to change the image to we'll call it home.png home like home.png like that and then also here too home.png all right and then for this one we'll just use the one that's already there, the default image. Press item to set of custom, we'll just go down to search and then it already does it for you. Alright, so let's look at our home page. See what we need. Alright, so we need this label right here first that says the name of our app and holds the two buttons up top. So I'm going to look for a label. We drag that to the corner like this bring it down and make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to center the words and then I'm going to change it to social app and then I'm going to change the background color down here in our attributes to a light grayish color so I'll just choose this one right here and then I'm going to alright alright so now I'm going to go here and find a button so I'm going to drag that on here and this is going to be the logout button alright and then drag another button on the other side and this is going to be the post button alright and now what we need is a table view which is going to hold um, our different cells that have our status updates so I'm going to go search for a table view. I'm going to drag that on here like that. And then I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. And then for this table view, we're going to need a cell. So I'm just going to, where it says prototype cells, I'm going to put it from 0 to 1. And then I'm just going to drag the cell and make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put that like that. And then I'm going to put this information on there. So we need an image view, another label, another label, and then a text view. So we're going to add those there. So first was the image view. And then make that a little smaller. I'll just make it about 40 by 40. And this is the size inspector right here, so 
changes the size. And then I'm going to need another label. I'll put that next to the image view. And this is going to hold the username. So I'm just going to change it from label to default username. And then another label for the date. I'll just put a dummy date in there. I'll just put 12, 12, 12 at 12, 12 p.m. And then you see it's too big, so I'm just going to make it smaller until it fits. And then I'm going to push it to the right side. Put a little space here. And I'm going to change the color of this to a dark gray color. All right, and then the last thing we need is the text view. So we're going to drag that on here like this. And then we're going to oops, erase all this text and just put some dummy text. I'm just going to put, hey, what's up? All right. Now I'm going to go down here to this triangle over here, and I'm going to press reset to suggested constraints just so everything is lined up in the right area. All right, now we're going to let's build and run this and see what it looks like so far. Okay, one thing we got to do is we got to set this tab view. We're going to select this yellow button on the tab bar controller and we're going to do is initial view controller. So that'll be the first thing that loads when we run the app. So now we're just going to run our app again. All right, so now we see that our information is in the right area. Our buttons are there, the tab view is set up, and our search area is still blank. So now we're going to go set up the search view. So here on the search view, we have, let's go back to our other app. Let's call it social. All right. So our search page is just a label on the top, search bar, a table view controller, and that's it. So let's go. I can actually go to this label, press Command C and copy it, and then I'm going to go down to this second page of the tab bar controller, and then I'm just going to Control V, paste it on there, just to make it easier for us. And I'm going to call this search users. And then now I need a search bar. So I'll go down here and type in search bar. Just drag that there like that. And then our table view. Drag that on there. And then just like earlier, we're going to do prototype cells. We're going to add one. And then we're just going to drag this down like this. Actually, it doesn't need to be that big. This is just going to hold the username. So we're going to call this, oops, go here and click table view cell. And then instead of custom, we're just going to use a basic cell. And then we're going to click the title. Just so we know, we're just going to type in user one. All right. And then we're going to go back to the triangle and then reset to suggested constraints. All right. Build and run our app and see how it's looking. All right. Go to our search page and you can see that is there. And right now our data is not shown for our search or for our table views in either our search page or home page but we'll get to that in the next tutorial right now we're just setting up the ui just to make sure everything's in the right spot so the only few pages we need are the login and sign up and then we need the page where you can actually update your status so we'll do the login and sign up page first 
I'm going to type in view controller. Type in view. I'm dragged up here. This is going to be our login page. So I'm going to change the background to like a light or a darkish blue purple color. So I'm just going to drag a label on there. And I'm going to make that the full size of the screen. I'm going to delete the text. And I'm going to go to background and just click any of these dark colors right here. And then I'm going to need another label to drag on top of that. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, center it. And then I'm going to call this social app, which is the name of our app. Change the color to white. And then just make this a little bit bigger. Maybe bold it too. So you could press the T style. And I'm just going to go to, I'll go to semi bold. All right, drag that to about here. And then now we need our inputs. Now we need a text field right here. Make this about the length of the screen almost. And then I'm just going to. Uh, copy it and then down here I'm going to paste another one and this is going to be our email and our password so we can actually click the text field and go to placeholder text and we're going to type in username and then here we're going to go to password and actually it's not e e it's not um, username it's email because we're going to be signing up with an email and then I'm just going to drag a button right here. And this button will actually log me in. So I'm going to type in log in. Change the background color. So just scroll down here where it says background. Change it to like a, I don't even know, a grayish color. And then I'm going to make this black. All right, and then I'm just going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it up here. And then I'm going to call this sign up. And this will lead us to our sign up page. All right, to make this easier, what you can actually do is just click the yellow. You can press Command C, and we're just going to copy this whole page. So we're going to paste it. It pastes it on top, so you're just going to have to drag it away like that. Bring it down here, and this will be our sign up page. All right, for so our for our sign up page, we're gonna need a couple more fields. So I'm gonna drag this button down a little bit lower. I'm gonna copy these two fields. Actually, what you can do instead of you can just select both of them, press Shift and select both of them. Then you can press Hold Option, and then just drag these down like that. Alright, so we'll call this change the place over text to full name email username and then password and then we're going to also drag an image view right here and we're going to make it smaller. I'll say I'm at 30, 30 by 30. We'll do that for now, but we can adjust it later. Actually, we'll just we'll go 45 by 45 and put that there. And then, all right, that should be all for our sign up page. Except we're just going to switch this. This is going to say sign up. And this one's going to be login. Alright. Now the last page we need to do is our update status page. And so that page is just simple. It's just we can 
go up to here, copy this label again so we can get that on here, and we're going to call this update status, and then we're going to drag a button over here, and we're going to call it pulse. And we're going to drag a text field, or a text view, I mean. We're going to make it go right here. Erase all this text. And then we're going to go down here. And then we're just going to change the background color to another, like, light gray color. All right. Let's look at our other app and see if there's anything that we're missing. So we have our home page. We got that down. Log out post. And then we go to our search page. We have everything there. And then let's go to our post page. And it looks like we have everything. So this is just the basic UI. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into um, actually getting data on our table views and then. Eventually, we're going to work on our login and sign up page so we can use Firebase as our backend. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure to tune into the next one. Make sure to download my app on iOS. It's called SportsFit. It's a fitness app that lets you know how many people are in the gym and it lets you know when your friends are there. So make sure to check it out and give me some feedback on it. And make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel.